Hey guys, I want to show you the last step of the build drawing in 3D of your bedroom. So I did make two different versions, or one version which I photocopy. So if you have a scanner or a printer at home, that is kind of nice to just photocopy your work so you can do different, try different things out and not ruin the original. So if you're going to be shading, um, what you want to do is to kind of start with the outline of your object. So generally just to kind of outline it first, kind of get my edges a little bit darker. So think about where the shadows might be and then use the side of your pencil to add grays in. Now, if you don't have a blending stump, like what we use at school, you can always take a tissue or even your finger can work, but a tissue is a little bit better because it won't spread the oils. So I'm just gonna grab one real quick. So I'm just gonna lay down some gray first. You can always add more or erase it with your eraser to make things a little bit lighter. So if you have any shadows on your bed, you're gonna make it a little darker. But try to use the side of your pencil so you don't get all the scratchy pencil lines. So if I know I have like a shadow right in here for the blankets a little bit darker. Okay, then do you use the blending stump or if you have a tissue, you can wrap your pencil with the tissue and that can also work as a quick blending stump. Kind of smoothing things out. But you notice it does get lighter, so you will have to add more dark down. So if I wanted this to be a little more shaded, just press a little bit harder to get darker values. And again, blend it out with a tissue or a blending stump. So kind of outline it first. And then you can darken things up after you kind of have your wall built up. Now if you want to make it darker, you can overlap it again. You can go the other direction. Or just press a little harder. And then I'll take my tissue and my pencil. that is one of the options that you can do. So underneath the bed, it might be a little darker. This might have a shadow underneath there, but just make sure that you keep your edges darker so that way you don't lose what it is that you're drawing on your paper. So just one tip is to have, make sure you don't have same shades next to each other. So if I want to be able to see my pillow, I might keep a little more white so it shows up. So this is one that I had done with shading. So you can see the completed drawing for that. Now, if you're going to color, They want to have a blue bedspread. Similar thing, you can outline it first with a black marker or a pencil first or a pen. Or when you go to color, similar with the regular pencil, just press a little bit harder along the edge to get that darker shade on here. So, as you can see already, it's a little bit hard to see, so just make sure you have it a little bit darker along the edge first. Or you can use a black 
or a darker color shade of that to get it to show up. Neat. All right, I'm going to put this into time-lapse so you can see a little more progress.